What's going on everybody? I am Nellagates and welcome to another video of Mutt. Today we are bringing you more gameplay of Man of the Month, Julio Jones, 93 overall. And we are looking to just beast it up with him. The main reason of these gameplays is to feed Julio Jones as much as possible. It's not to win games at the same time, but we still want to try to win them. At the same time, we hope that Julio Jones can beast it up for us and get us some wins. So hopefully we can get 10 wins in a row, if not at least 10 games overall. So right here, we are gonna. We saw my opponent's team. He's got Josh Norman. So Josh Norman and Julio Jones, uh, they might be going at it today. And let's hope Julio Jones can get the better of him today. So right here, my opponent starts off with what should have been a pick in my opinion. But my player drops it. And here on a fourth and nine, we bring in some heat. And my opponent gets sacked and turns over the ball. So right here, we see the Z-spot route to Julio Jones. And we're looking for him. And we feed him. And he tries to jump. But he gets body slammed right into the ground. And it was an easy toss to our running back, Yeldon, for the TD. Puts us up seven to nothing. My opponent right here. Gets possession of the ball again and right here throws a nice drag route and he just wiggles through us right there. But luckily enough, we caught up with him, uh, caught up to him. I think that was Ishmael right there and he gets the the tackle. And right here, bad usering by me. I should have noticed that he was going into another zone of mine and I should have stayed with that other route. And my opponent ties it 7-7. Seven to seven. But right here, we toss it up to Julio. But it gets swatted out of our hands by I think that was Earl Thomas or Eric Berry. I'm not sure which one that was. But right here we do find Julio in the that little bit of space, but he drops the ball. Puts us in a bad situation, 4th and 10, but we're like, you know what? We still got to trust Julio Jones because he's the beast in our squad. So we, are, uh, we complete on a 4th and 10 and get that possession back. So right here we are looking forward to just keep going, keep going. Right, we throw it to uh, Pita Chips and he gets us a first down right there in the underneath route. Right here, we see Julio Jones is right, right there. We tried to throw it, but we were noticed that it was close, so we just decided to go right there in the flat and get the T and get the conversion. And right here, man, oh man, oh man, I saw him coming. I saw him doing it, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna test his user. And guess what? That was a bad test that we failed, and we'll learn from that. We tried to, we tried to strip that ball, and just because you know I was mad, I should have just tackled him and reset my defense. But hey. You know what? We live and learn. And right here, we find the gap to Jordan Matthews. And we try to tie juke back. But Jordan Matthews obviously doesn't have any good juking. So we were just slammed right there. So right here, we find the wide open Jeremy Hill. We thought we went into the end zone right there. But my opponent does tackle us at the one. But nothing Jay Cutler can do better than a QB sneak in this game. It seems like those long throws... We haven't mastered, but shout out to the to one of my people, one of the people in the comment that was telling me, you know what, you might want to try to step into your throws a little bit uh, to get those deep throws to Julio Jones. So we'll definitely take that into consideration to the next videos. But thank you so much. And right here we get a user, and my opponent is like, man, this guy looks like he's too good. But it was 14 to 14. I have no clue why he quit. Uh, but hey, I'll take the win any chance I get. But we do come up against two Julio Joneses right there. Uh, right there. And those are both. We are looking for that. We are looking for just another win. And right here, we throw it deep. And we miss it again with Jay Cutler. Now that one, I agree. I should step in a little bit more. Take a few more steps. And complete that pass. But right here, Julio Jones does catch that ball. And he brings it down. And right now we are looking to convert. We see Julio Jones and we just force it in there in that small in that small space. And he catches the ball once again. So we are looking to just keep it rolling. Right here we play to Jordan Matthews right across the middle. And gets us a good first down with a chunk of yards. And right now no one person to just go back to them. The hot hand Jordan Matthews and gets us the TD. My opponent we bring some heat. That just sacks him, puts him in a bad position. But my opponent gets a third and six right here. And he is going to convert with a pass. I, sh I think, uh, I thought that we would have broken up at least to get the incompletion. But my opponent right here, he tosses it up with a SWAT team. And here comes D'Angelo Hall to just clean up the mess and pick it off. Uh, so we get the possession right back. And we are looking to just say, hey, you know what, dominate this game. And right here, we do not even step into it. 
And uh, I think if I stepped into it, Julio Jones would have been led better. And we could have wrecked that into a TD. So I still need to learn that. But right here, we do find Julio Jones once again on a corner route. But right here, I try to force it to him, man. The video was about him. So I was like, you know what? We got to force it to him. It was a mistake that we paid for. And my opponent does pick it off. So we're up 7-0. We forced my opponent to punt. Uh, we're still up 7-0 on a corner route to Julio Jones. That's a route I think I need to utilize more. Uh, especially against man-to-man. -man. This route right here is good against man-to-man. -man, but sometimes a good player uh, will use her that and take it off my hand. And just force me into a bad situation. So luckily enough, hey, I hope I come up against more better players. And right here we thought we were going to get both feet in. But that tackle from my opponent just uh, does push me out of bounds and to only force us to take a field goal. My opponent right here goes deep on a 4th and 10 but an incompletion. But like I was saying, those better players, that's what I want to be. I want to be a better player at this game. And I'm still learning this game and I'm still trying. But right here when you have Julio Jones, who needs to get better? Just chuck it deep to Julio Jones and he gets us the TD, brings it down. And look at, I think that's Sean Payton, our, co our uh, coach, I'm not sure. But he looks happy. He thanks God that we have Julio Jones. And right here my opponent has Von Miller, has Champ Bailey. And we have Julio Jones and Hudson and DeCastro. So, this game right here, my opponent had two routes that were killing me. Uh, you know, I couldn't really do much about them. Right here, man. He, this is one of them. Right here. So, I did take... A ta I was trying to use her that, but I didn't know where he was going. And he took that post route. And got the completion a good amount of yards for my opponent right there. And right here we should have had a pick. But we drop it. And I think that was Kwan Alexander if I'm not mistaken. And we drop that pick. And right here easy touchdown to Larry Fitz. Uh, to put my opponent up 7-0. And right here we are looking to just bounce back and be smart. But guess what? My opponent. That's what I'm talking about. Good opponents will take that. And I do struggle a little bit. Uh, with the better opponents out there because they you know what I'm still learning but I'll get better and right here Ricky Williams one tackle broken three tackles broken and a fourth and we thought he was gonna break the fifth because it seems like Superman was in the building and my opponent right here here's another uh, taste of his route I take that underneath one and he just chucks it up and brings it down I thought my safety would come down and break that one off but guess what my opponent is not done he finds Larry Fitz right there with the route once again and gets a TD. So he's up 14 to nothing. And really right here this is where the game changed and the momentum changed. A, a shove that forced the fumble out of uh, Yeldon's hands if I'm not. Yeah it was Yeldon. Forced it out of his hands. And by that man really momentum changed. It was 14 to nothing. My opponent couldn't do much more honestly except throw those passes that I struggled with. And my opponent is going to score one more TD just to... You know what, just to make it a little bit harsher on me. And hey, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still learning this game. I'm still going to get better. But my opponent was just the better man today. He was picking off these routes. That's a drop that I think he should have had for sure. Uh, but my opponent was like, you know what, I got a TD for you in this play. But the score does end up with a 21 to nothing. Julio Jones didn't do anything for the rest of the game. I hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay. If you guys did, drop a like down below if you guys are new. Hit that subscribe button. But, man, listen. You guys are great. You guys enjoyed that last Julio Jones video. I had to bring you guys another one. But until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I am Nella Gates, and I am signing out with this TD against me. Peace!